Hello there ladies and gentlemen. In this short screencast I will be showing you how to create a color clock using JavaScript, HTML and CSS. If you are new to any of these technologies, I am sure you will find this screencast useful. Let's start by creating a blank HTML page which has an empty head and an empty body. Create a div inside the body and set its ID to clock. We will be using this div to draw the clock. Next, let's add some styles to the clock. Type in hash clock to select the clock div. Set its width to 200 pixels. Set its padding to 40 pixels. And give it a solid border. You can now see the outline of the clock in the browser. Next, set the text align property to center so that the time is shown in the center of the div. Adjust the color of the text, font size and font family to match your preferences. As you can see there are lots of colors here, but you should be choosing a color which uh, uh, doesn't clash with the color of the background of this clock. You'll know why soon. So I'll be choosing dark salmon as the color for now. Next, set the font size to 24 pixels so that the text is uh, easily readable and set the font family to sans serif. Time to write some JavaScript now. Add a script tag to the page. Before we begin, I want to tell you that we will be using moment.js in this uh, screencast because uh, moment.js makes it really easy for you to work with uh, dates and times. So let's add a script tag to include moment.js. I don't have it on my local machine, uh, but I will be using the version available on CDNJS. So let's get it from there. Copy this link and paste it in your scripts source. That's all you need to do. Now create a new function called update color. This function will be responsible for updating the color of the clock. First, get a reference to the clock div using document.getElementById. Next, get the current time using the moment function. To generate a color based on the current time, all you have to do is use the hours, minutes and seconds as the red, green and blue values of your hex color. So, create a string which begins with hash and append the hours, minutes and seconds to it using the moment library's format function. Now that we have the color, use it as the background of the clock div. You can do so by setting the style.backgroundColor property of the div. Also set the inner HTML of the div to the string value of the color. The update method should be called every second because obviously the clock should change every second. This can be done using the set interval method. So let's add an onload event listener to the window. And inside this function I will call the set interval function along with the update color method and a value of thousand, which means uh, one second because set interval takes its input in milliseconds. Your clock is now ready. If you go back to your browser and refresh it, you should be able to see it working. 
time here is 4.15 and the flag is showing it correctly. Every second the color changes very slightly, so don't think anything is wrong if you don't see any change immediately. Now you will be able to see that the color becomes uh, bluish every second. Hope you learned something useful today, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good day. Bye.